Hello, hello everyone. How are you guys? Hello to Christian Henry, Pokemon Valley, Aaron Johnson, Mary Garcia. It's so nice to see all of you. Let me know if the stream sounds okay and if you guys can hear me. My little preview is like lagged, so hopefully you guys saw all of that. <laughs> or heard all of that, I should say. Rhonda Rose, hi everyone. How is everyone doing this evening? Oh, I'm so excited. This is my second Disney Dreamlight Valley stream, so I'm still very new to the whole process. Awesome. Thank you, Pokemon Valley. <laughs> Hi, Taylor C. Rascal Gamer. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much. Okay, so tonight, I, the only thing I have left to do in this game right now is decorate pretty much because I've done all of the quests and everything. So I think I want to change my whole plaza again because I'm still just not happy with the functionality of it. <laughs> so here, I'll run around and show you guys really quick. So this is that like main little part. And I have my house over here, which I'm okay with where my house is. And I have my little companion area where I've got all my little friends hanging out. And then I have like this little Toontown type spot here. And I like this. I like the houses all right here. But I just feel weird about the way that this is all laid out. And like I never use the paths I always cut through right here. So I feel like it's weird the way that this is laid out. And then I think I want to move Remy's restaurant and house and have them like side by side because I've seen a lot of people do that and it looks really cool. Oh, you're welcome, Rhonda. Yeah, I've, re I've redone this plaza uh, a few times now. So, okay, let's, first of all, we need to go around and clean up all the flowers and oregano and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And try and get everything out of the way. Was anybody Hello, else, well, like, a little bit disappointed with the, uh... Oh my god, Stitch, you're so loud. <laughs> was anybody else kind of disappointed with the whole, like, teapot that we didn't actually get and the the other rewards from the community challenge? Because I was like, I'm just feeling like the rewards in the community challenge and with the side quests and stuff were just not that great. They just really weren't that exciting. Oh, well, thank you. Have fun babysitting. <laughs> Do all fountains have water? I feel like mine still don't. Do these? I mean, this one has water. But what's weird about this one is that um, you can see that little water spout from no matter where you are in the valley. So let me, hang on, let me show you. It's like a weird glitch, I think. Yeah, do you see that? Like, you can see it through the building. You can see that water spout. They're having a hard time with water in this game, I think. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. I am trying really hard, but I feel like there are so many more valleys out there that are like way more creative and cute. And I just aspire to be like those people. Oh God. Yeah, it's weird that the teapot wouldn't be um, available, you know? It, the community challenge has been going on for quite a while now, so it's odd to me that they couldn't give us anything new. They just gave us, like, flowers and <laughs> random things that we can get ourselves in the game. So it just it seems weird. Like, it wasn't... They weren't really ready to do a community challenge like that, and they just kind of, like, forced it to happen, and they didn't have anything to give us. 
So it was just kind of just kind of a little bit disappointing. But here I am still playing this game all day. All right, we are almost ready to get this going. Also, I'm confused about this whole egg thing because I still have this one egg bush, but my other egg bushes disappeared. So, I guess we just get to keep one of them. I don't really know what that's about. And I've been finding the blue eggs still, even though the event is over. So, I didn't think that we would still be getting those. I don't know. Rhonda, that is okay. I kind of wish that I hadn't blown through everything that there is to do in this game so fast. And I, I wish that you could have more than one game going at one time, but I don't think that you can. Because I would love to start over, <laughs> but I also don't really want to start over because I have so much stuff. Alright, so I'm just going to delete stuff and kind of start over. Which is painful to do. I might not delete everything. I might just kind of like move stuff out of the way, but I'll delete like bushes and stuff. Hmm. Might leave that. All right. I want to start over here with the restaurant and Remy's house. I still want to keep these over here in this area, but I want them side by side. But am I still going to be able to get around this? I don't know. Okay. Now, I saw somebody had theirs like right up against each other. But can you not do that? Oh, maybe it has to go the other way. No, I don't think you can put these like right up against each other. I feel like there has to be a little gap. Yeah, I might move that back eh, like this. Hmm. Oh my God, come on game. What do we think? Do we like these right next to each other? I don't know. I feel like when I saw somebody else do it, they were like right, right stuck together, but maybe not. Hmm. You have all your egg bushes still? What? Two of mine just disappeared. Hmm. Now I'm wondering what I should do with this. Should I move this over here? Of course, I go into this with no plan whatsoever. So we're just going to kind of wing it. No, that doesn't look right. Hmm. All right. We might be redoing this all together. Hang on. Ugh. All right, I'm going to plop this down here for... Nope, there's no room there. Dang it. Okay. We might be moving these to over here. And moving the shop to here. Is that what we want to do? Put the shop, like, right here? Hmm... Maybe. Maybe. I like the idea of all the tall buildings next to each other. But I don't know if I want all three lined up like this. 
Hmm. What do you guys think? Should I do all three lined up like this or should I put one over here? The more I look at it like this, the more I kind of like it like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Actually, what do we think? I might just leave it like this, actually. I kind of like it. All right, let's stick this tree back over here. Now, what I don't love is the way that this all looks. So let's get rid of these. No. I might even end up moving Merlin's house too. That might be something that I do. I think this is quite nice, actually. Do you have to be a certain level before you decorate? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you can decorate right away. Now, you'll be limited on how many things that you have if you just started. You'll have to buy things from the shop and um, find things in chests. The different items and stuff. I have more items than I even know what to do with. But I did some pumpkin farming and became a millionaire, like, super quick in the game. So it's really not hard to do. But you do have to open up the Forgotten Lands before you can farm pumpkins. I still have my Easter decorations out. <laughs> I'm going to have to get rid of some trees in order to be able to see what I am doing. I mean, I like the way that the trees look lining up this like main part here, but at the same time, they're in my way. anyone else like really OCD about their paths like it really bothers me that these are not all lined up okay this is better Mm -hmm. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I think this feels a lot better already. It's a lot more open and just makes more sense to me. What do we think? I'm actually going to move these. So there's two on each side. Are those even? Okay. Now, I really like the way that Merlin's house looks over here, but should we move it? Hmm. I like having all these books here because a lot of the characters like to hang out around the books and look at them. So I kind of like to put those in areas that I want the house or I want the characters to hang out. I really like the way that this looks. So I might leave that alone. And then I might have space for another small house if we get another character with a smaller house. You have your tall buildings next to each other too? Yeah, I really like the way that it looks with all the tall buildings next to each other. It is very cute. And if I got that um, Monsters, Inc. apartment house skin, that would have looked really cool too over here. Like, right here. But I don't know. I'm just trying to be frugal about how I spend my moonstones because I don't want to spend my real life money on moonstones. Okay, I might redo this whole thing. I don't think I like the way it looks. Hmm. Might make like a big courtyard here. You know? See how this doesn't line up correctly? It just drives me crazy. Are those even? Yes, it. everything in this game, I feel like it does not line up correctly and it drives me bonkers. Especially when the pads like don't line up exactly the way that they should. Like, do you see how this one ends right here? And it lines up with this part of the door frame and then uh, this one does not. <laughs> like, it just makes me crazy. I made a New York City vibe with all the big buildings in the Frosted Heights. Ooh, that would be cool, too. If I move Remy's restaurant where Scrooge's shop is and move the chairs and stuff. Hmm. Like, put the restaurant on this side over here. Yeah. It, that probably would look very nice. But I do not feel like moving all this stuff to over here. <laughs> I 
I think that I only have so much patience for doing this and especially moving the paths and stuff. But what do we think? Should I actually, should I put the fountain like in the middle? I think I might do that actually. I might be willing to move those things. Ah, no. Sorry if I like get in the zone and forget to look at the chat. <laughs> oh dear god, now we have a whole new situation here with lining stuff up. I think this is about right, right? God. I can't wait for them to figure out how to actually like put the chairs underneath the tables and stuff. Like they finally figured out in The Sims. <laughs> yeah, and I don't like that the paths don't like connect with things either. If you have like two different paths, you can't get them to connect. It is very frustrating. But I'm wondering, like, how much they meant for this game to be about the decorating. I don't really know. There are so many things that just seem very unfinished about this. Well, I mean, I guess because it is uh, early access, it's not a finished game. But, I mean, it feels like some things that should be finished are not finished. Like the basic functions, I feel like. Oh no, they didn't figure it out in Animal Crossing. Dang it. I still, I think I mentioned in my last, um, in my last live that I tried to play Animal Crossing. And it is very cute, but it just is so overwhelming when you're like, just starting and everyone else has like, played the game for years and they're over it. Hmm. Okay. I think I like it better with the wider paths like this too. And then over here, I think I'm going to make like a connector like right here. I think that would be good. I don't know what to do with these things for now, but... Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking I want to cover up these weird spots with bushes. <laughs> Also not thrilled with this whole setup either. So this is my flower box. This is where I put all of the flowers that I gather in this biome. I put them in here. So I might move that to there. Space these benches out a little bit more. Hmm. I think that's nice, right? What do I want to do with these things? Hmm. Hmm. Is it just me or did the music just stop? <laughs> Music just stopped playing. Oh, there it goes. Okay. And actually, we can put that clock tower right in the center of here. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Okay. That's cute, right? Got my little Toontown situation. Hmm. 
And I figured I'd put these bushes in the places where there's like weirdness that I want to cover up. Do we need more of them? Is that? That's not even a plaza one. Ugh. Wait, is that the same bush? Why does this one look darker to me? Is it because it's in front of the window? I don't know. Okay. Whatever, those look like two different bushes. Oi. Thank you, Julie. It was nice having you here. Thanks for joining. Yes, I really enjoy having all of my chairs tucked under the tables in The Sims. It is very helpful. Is there anyone, have any of you guys played like the original Sims, the old, old Sims? And had to deal with all that nonsense of that game. Because I was there when The Sims came out. Uh, the very, very first one. And I was obsessed with it. And now I look back on that Sims game and I'm like, oh my god, this is so terrible. It's crazy how far it's come. Alright, what do we think? I feel like I like this a lot better so far. I honestly don't know what else I could even do with it. I'm sure I have a lot of items I could put down, but I'm just not that into having a ton of items like de like um, cluttering up my space. You know, I like being able to run from place to place really easily. But let's run around and see how it goes. I do have to pick up all these so that I can get rid of this. Oh no, my inventory is full. Oh, I forgot I got picked up that pouch earlier. Let's see what's in here. This is a clothing bag. So let's see if it's something I don't already have. I'm pretty sure I have everything. <laughs> all Every piece of clothing that you can get in this game, I'm pretty sure that I have it. Except for like special stuff that you have to buy. Let's see what it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have this. And that's another thing. Every time I open up a pouch of clothing or the furniture pouches, it'll say new, regardless of whether or not I actually have that thing. Okay. I've completed my patrol. All quiet in this one. <laughs> yes, I still have an alien toy stuck in Buzz's RV, and it's really upsetting because I like to have Please all of the quests finished, no and I can't finish Boy, that one. I'm glad to see you. Oh, hi, Mickey. I didn't mean to click on you, but let's have a discussion. <laughs> Do you have any friends who have a short temper? A oh. few. <laughs> like my friend Donald Duck, who's been throwing tantrums this whole time. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> How cute. All right. I just meant to pick up this flower, which, did you see how fast all these flowers and oregano and all this stuff just popped up as soon as I went back into Mother like knows play best. mood? Don't forget, dear. Mother knows best. <laughs> like it's impossible to keep this area cleaned up. <laughs> Woody's just laying on the ground. Oh my god, look at how cute this is. 
can't get over how cute this area is. I love it so much. Look, look at this. How cute is this? Oh my god, I just want to sit here with all my animal friends. Okay. So, I do, I this like this a lot better. So strange. I can actually, like, get around. And I'm not running into stuff, so that makes me very happy. Hannah means family. Aww. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. Aww. I love Stitch. Are they interacting? Oh, I'm oh, so happy to see you. I like to see what they say to each other. Okay, let's go down and. I haven't really played this today, so there's some stuff that I can do. I don't remember if I got the blue chest for today, but... Oh, here's a green one. Money! Here's the teacup ride. I really can't wait to go back to Disney World. I freaking love Disney World. I haven't been in so long. Have any of you guys been to Disney World? It's been a few years since I have been. Oh, more than a few years now, I think. Huh. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kristoff, calm down. There. Okay. What do we want to sell? Hmm. I think we're going to need to go empty out my inventory in my house. Okay, let's go home and empty out this inventory so that I can actually do things. Hmm. The only thing about moving my house over here is that I can't I'm use the back you. door. And I really like that I could one. use the back door <laughs> of this house for some reason. At Disney, now people talk about it being 100 per person. What do you mean, like, um... Like, ticket prices? Is that what you mean? Because, yeah, the pricing of Disney is just so outrageous. I really don't know when I'll be going back. It's just every time I look at the, the pricing to try and plan something, I'm like overwhelmed with how much it costs now. It's insane. Also, even with these signs, I forget what's in here. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I forgot. Oh my god. I have so many eggs that I forgot about. Oh lord. I was just putting these over here like, oh, I have some eggs. I'll just hide them in there. But no, I have so many eggs. Jeez Louise. What was I doing? And we don't even really need these for anything. I mean, there are recipes that you can use them for, but I mean, I just, this is ridiculous. And I think there's stuff you can craft with those, too. I should probably look into that. Let's see. Oh, I have a crafting table in here. Duh. All right, let's see what we can craft with the eggs. If there's anything else. <laughs> I 
or anything that I want, like more than one of, you know? Hmm. I can make another spring stall. I can make ten <laughs> if I wanted to. Hmm. Actually, let's go ahead and just make two of them. And then I'll just have these if I want to make like a little spring festival. That'd be cute. Let's see what else we have that's like springy that I can use these eggs for. Hmm. Don't put them all in one basket. It's like kind of boring. I don't know. This thing is obnoxious. So I don't really want to make that again. This was cute. I guess I can make another one as you. Hmm. Dear God. Okay. <laughs> mm. Alright, now I'll just hoard the rest. I'll hoard the rest of them. <laughs> Hello, caffeinated Hufflepuff. How are you? Thank you for joining us. Rascal Gamer, yes. It is a lot of fun, and my experiences at Disney have always been really, really good because just the quality of everything there is amazing. So it is definitely, I mean, I've always thought that it was worth the money, but I don't know. Now it's like to the point where, like, I literally can't afford to go. <laughs> like, it's just, it's so much money that I just, every time I'm crunching the numbers about it, I'm like, you know... I could go on like three smaller vacations instead of this and then I just I just kind of give up on the whole thing. And this I love this whole like um little like carnival that I put together. But it's super cluttered in here and, oh god, I didn't help me to dig that hole. It's really hard to keep, keep on top of this area and keeping it cleaned up. Alexandro, hello, how are you today? I am great, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Luna girl, hello, thank you for joining. I'm so excited, you guys. I didn't even say it yet. I have over a thousand subscribers. I hit that milestone and then before I could even say anything about it, I've gotten up to like 1100 now, which is crazy. Like, I don't know. I didn't think I was that entertaining, <laughs> but I'm very, very grateful and excited. And I've been telling everybody like how excited I am about YouTube and making these videos. It's so much fun. And that was part of why I wanted to do a live today, even though I really don't have very much going on in my valley right now because I've done literally everything. I wanted to celebrate, hang out with you guys. Oh, the vegetable stand, that is, I think it's a stitch item. And there's another one, there's a, um, there's a fruit stand that looks just like this one but it's like all fruit and stuff and I feel like I just lucked out with getting this because I have not seen it since I got it and I haven't seen the fruit one there are a few items in this game that are like they seem very magical and mysterious because only a handful of people have them like I keep getting the same chairs and stuff in Scrooge's shop like the same wallpapers and like just random things that I don't care about like countertops and stuff. I keep getting all that stuff in Scrooge, but I know there are cool items like this out there. And I'm just hoping that I get them because I would love to add more like stands and stuff to my little my little farmer's market type area here. Thank you, caffeinated Hufflepuff. You know, you're making me want to play Hogwarts Legacy because 
I know it just came out on the PS4 and the Xbox One for anyone who didn't have it um, on the other on the other consoles and stuff. And so I know a lot of people who are just now starting it. And I got it right when it came out on Steam, and I haven't really been playing it in a while because I've been playing this and Disney Speedstorm so much. But I have been really wanting to get back into Hogwarts Legacy. And I, you know, I was making videos um, for the channel of that game, but they just weren't performing very well. And I wasn't sure if people really wanted to see them. I don't know. Most people are here for Dreamlight Valley, so it's, it's fine. Thank you, Jacob. I've been working hard on it. I feel like it's coming along. A lot of my biomes are still really empty though, like this one. I put Ursula over here and I have Mother Gothel because I don't have a choice, but they're the only ones over here. Other than that, it's pretty dang empty. My husband has been playing that. He likes it. Hogwarts Legacy, it's awesome. I love it. And I am a Hufflepuff. So I, I've been really enjoying that game. And I have not been playing it in a while. And I really should because I do really like it. It's really good. I wonder if anybody would want to watch a stream of that. I don't know. <laughs> Every time I play it, I have to reteach myself the controls because I've been taking like too long of breaks between. Oh, I was able to pick it up that time. I have not been able to pick up that egg in a very long time. Because I thought the tree was in the way, but I guess it wasn't. Yeah, but Hogwarts Legacy, I don't know, maybe I should try and stream that because I have so much to do. Like, I'm still very early on in the game. Like, I just got my broom. And I'm about to do the, um, like the beasts class so that hopefully I'll be able to collect the random animals that you find out in the world. It's very exciting. Oh, Pokemon Valley, you're a Gryffindor. I know, part of me wanted to be Gryffindor, but I just loved um, the Hufflepuff uh, common room so much. It was just so cool. And I found out today that uh, Hufflepuff, um, if you're a Hufflepuff, you get to go to an area that nobody else gets to go to. Not for very long. It's not really that big of a deal, but it pretty interesting. So I guess they really want you to play through it, that game a bunch of times and be, you know, different houses so that you get the full story. Which I am kind of interested to see how different the story is when you play through as someone else in another house. Jacob, you're in Ravenclaw. Oh my god, we have like everyone but Slytherin so far. If anybody's in Slytherin, let me know. We'll have everybody here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm picking up all this wood, honestly. I don't need any more wood. Okay. Hufflepuffs are fantastic. I think a lot of people that play Dreamlight Valley are Hufflepuffs. I noticed that with some other channels that I follow that do both games. Um, it's like they're always Hufflepuffs. <laughs> You were 50-50 Gryffindor and Slytherin. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I 
when I did the on when I did like the the online registration or whatever, I was put in Slytherin, but I was like, no thanks, <laughs> I'm gonna change it. <laughs> so I changed it to Hufflepuff. Random rantings, hello, thank you for joining. I mean, who knows? I might play through as a Slytherin too. We'll see. If I can make it through as a Hufflepuff, I haven't played in so long. That is one thing about doing these videos is that there are so many games that I like to play, but I'm kind of like in this Dreamlight Valley niche right now, which is totally fine. I really enjoy it, but I hope one day that I can branch out with my videos and play some other games too, because there's just so many games that I want to play. And yeah, I was doing Hogwarts Legacy videos for a while, but I'm not sure how many people want to see those. <laughs> They're like not as easy for me to do either because I'm not really sure what to say in them. I'm just playing the game, you know? So I might start just doing videos where I just literally play without doing any commentary because it, I really don't have a lot of commentary on it. Too many games, so little time. I know. It's terrible. Especially when you have to like do grown-up stuff too. Ugh. I have so much adulting that I have to do, and I'd much rather be playing games all day. Well, some of the time. Some of the time I'd rather be playing games all day. Woo! Is there anything back here? Some sand. Nope, I ran out of juice. Oh my god. Mini Casita is way up there in the forest and I just heard I just heard the shutters. It's so funny. Well I guess you guys are just coming along with me while I clean up all of my biomes again. I really thought that the plaza was, would take a lot longer for me to do, but I'm pretty happy with how it came out, so. We'll just go around every biome and you guys can look at my valley. Alright, let's move on to the forest. See, and this is another area that's like pretty empty. I mean, I have Elsa's cave over there, and then I put Mirabelle's house over here. Which I think looks pretty beautiful in the forest. I haven't seen, like, a ton of people putting it over here, but I like it. I think it looks good. Thank you, Pokemon Valley. And yes, I <laughs> I don't necessarily think that all Slytherins are bad, but I just didn't want to be a Slytherin, so I had to change it.
Oh my goodness. So much going on up here. You know, I really do hope that we get like Belle or Cinderella because I want to put them in this forest so bad. I just want to have a little princess village up here. I just think it would be so cute. You know, I was really convinced that we were going to get Penelope from Wreck-It Ralph, but now everybody's got me, like, second-guessing that. Like, thinking that, um, it's going to be Belle, and it's going to be, like, a reference to the Disney Speedstorm game. But I just felt like that was weird. I don't know. I really don't know if they're going to do a crossover type thing like that. But a lot of people think that, so now I'm kind of like, well, what? Do you think they would do that? No, I don't know. Hmm, have you ever gone to the northwest corner of the Forgotten Lands? <laughs> forgotten Panda. <laughs> I think if you've Forgotten Lands. And saw a stone on the ground where a possible ramp will be. Hmm... I don't know. Maybe, but I- Ooh, my blue chest. Um, we can go check that out right now, actually, as soon as I'm done cleaning up this area. We'll go over to the Forgotten Lands and check that out. Do, do, do. Also, apparently Wally has another quest. Um, it's like locked for me. And I don't know how you start it. But I've done everything <laughs> and I haven't found any like items laying around that would like trigger it to start. So I don't know. I wish they would let Ursula have her human form in the game. Yes! Same. Because let me tell you, it is so freaking hard to get her to swim over to you to talk to you when you need her to. And I don't know about you, but like I'll go to a biome to see her. I'll fast travel there. And then as soon as I get there, she leaves. She goes like way across the map and it is super annoying. <laughs> Who's singing? Oh, freaking Woody. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Alright, let's go over to the Forgotten Land, because now I am curious. Mm. Oh my god. Holy night thorns. Oh no! Oh my god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. <laughs> that always stresses me out so hard. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't even need to do it, but... I do. A special green orb, like one of the memories? Well, how the heck do you get that? Has anyone gotten it yet, I wonder? Has anyone done it yet? I haven't seen any, like videos on YouTube pop up about it yet. I heard somebody say that clearing night thorns you might find it, so I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. I haven't found it yet. Oh my god, I just found an orb. Y'all. If this is Wally's orb, I will freak out. No. <laughs> Moana. Okay. I, I was about to freak out a little bit, but... 
I do really wish that I could find that orb. How cool would that be if I found it, like, on the live? Oh my god, you found it? Oh my goodness. I was gonna say, oh no, it wasn't me first. <laughs> but no, I'm glad that you found it, but I really want to find it. So I'm a little bit jealous. Okay, so we said that there is like a ramp up here. Do we, or where you think there's gonna be a ramp? Do you mean like this area? Or over here? I mean, this maybe. I don't know. And then... I also feel like this has got to be more than just this, right? got to be more to this. Do you guys know that you can sit on, uh... Some of the logs. Hang on. Is it this log? Yeah, you can sit on this log. Isn't that crazy? I did not know that for like a really long time. Very random. Ah! night thorns you need to go through before you find it. I love this area. I really can't wait for there to be more going on up here. But I also don't want to get my hopes up because in the last update they had like teased a lot about the Frosted Heights biome, like uncovering secrets in the Frosted Heights area, but really, I mean, it was just that that one little room. And I mean, that was pretty much it. <laughs> like, nothing really that interesting happened over there. And it's still like one of my empty biomes. dark wood. I have been hoarding this dark wood thinking that I need it. And I mean, I guess I could just like make a bunch of large chests with this. But like you don't really even need it as much as I thought you would need it. I started hoarding things like literally like right in the beginning when I started playing this game and I ended up not really even needing <laughs> like a lot of the stuff that I have. So now in every update I pretty much kind of like blow through everything because I already have all of the resources that I need. Okay, we cleaned up this area pretty quick. Rumors going around that's the possible entrance in the Forgotten Lands to the shadow place like inside Olaf's cave. Hmm, that would be really cool. You're probably correct about that. <laughs> I know that uh, that whole shadowy, you know, alter ego uh, thing is going to come back uh, in this uh, in this next impressive. update. Which is very exciting to get more of the main storyline. Ooh, you want guys want to see something that I just found out about recently? Is that if you're ever looking for an item that's spawning around the valley and you like cannot find it, you can try looking back here. You can actually like glitch yourself into the rocks back here. 
And see, there was a night thorn back here that I like didn't even see. Wonder if there's anything else in here. Eh. My pet. <laughs> oh, the valley is coming along nicely. The valley is coming along nicely. Thank you. Actually, I can I can feed you. I just picked up a flower. I'll give you this. Ta-da! You know, there are still a couple of companions that I don't have. Like... The ones that are only around for very, very small windows of time, like on specific days, those are the ones that I have not gotten yet because I just can't seem to do it twice in a row. <laughs> so, I st like, I still don't have the red fox, and that's the one that I really wanted, too. But I think you have to log in on Saturday mornings, like, early, and I'm just not trying to do that. No, Birdie. Get out of here. Alright, so we're going to finish cleaning up this area and then we'll work on the frosted heights. And then we'll have a nice tidy valley for the most part. My little, like, Simba area back here. I wish that this kind of blended into the environment a little bit better. Like, I don't like that there's this big, like, hill, you know? Like, it looks kind of funky. See, the, um, Pride Rock, it, like, blends into the environment. Like, it's flat, you know? Whereas this looks weird to me. And this, too. It looks a little... Well, this looks pretty good. But this thing, even though I love it, it just looks kind of odd. Like, I wish that the water was, like, actually at ground level. I don't know. Am I weird? I complain a lot, I feel like. <laughs> I promise I like this game a lot. I feel like I'm complaining a lot. I'm just very critical of things that I like and care about because I always want them to be better, you know? I want the best for this game. And I just think it has so much potential to be so above and beyond. Wally, I can't find your orb. No, <laughs> Wally. <laughs> Why are you so cute? <laughs> Cats meowing. Tell you one of my cats meowing. Are you meowing? Why? Oh, one of my cats is meowing. Ooh, all 
Alright. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop all of this over here. Not perfect, but I think this looks pretty good. Look at Goofy. Oh my goodness. Okay, now let's go over here, clean up Frosted Heights, and then we will be all done. Hi, I just started playing the game two weeks ago. Love it. Isn't it so good? Thank you for joining me today. Yes, I love this game. I've been playing it since... Not like right when it came out, but pretty soon after it came out, I got it. And I've been playing it since then. And I have just blown through everything that there is to do. I kind of envy you, though, because I really miss having a ton of quests to do. But now, I am just cleaning up my valley. And decorating. Oh wow, you've gotten a lot done in two weeks. Yes, the Forgotten Lands is really good because that's where you can get your pumpkin seeds and those are your money makers right there. That's how I got all of my monies in this game. Well, actually I started off with canola. I farmed canola a bunch uh, and then once I got into the Forgotten Lands, that's when I started doing the pumpkins. I really enjoyed the Simba and Nala quest too. I, I really like their realm a lot. Especially since The Lion King was like one of my favorite childhood movies. I actually just watched uh, The Lion King 2 the other day. And like wanted to cry because it is just the cutest movie. And I totally like forgot about it until I was watching it again. And I was like, oh my god, I love this movie. You farm soybeans? I can't remember where you get the soybeans from. <laughs> Is it the Sunlit Plateau? I know that you get canola from in here in the, um, what is this? The Forest of Valor. And those are really high profit. And I just think they're pretty. That's what I went with. <laughs> And then when I started doing pumpkins, a lot of people say to um, turn them into pumpkin puffs, which I guess technically if you do all of the math, it you get a lot more profit for that, but it is so much work to cook all of those pumpkins into pumpkin puffs. It's crazy. How's it going? Okay, I'm selling the snowballs. Don't need any more snowballs. Selling these flowers. I don't need these. Hmm. Don't need the ginger, and I don't need these. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So let's sort all of this out. All right. I put the um the Arendelle Castle right here because I just think it looks so cool going over this bridge up to it. I really feel like it looks more like Elsa's ice castle. There was a much cooler looking Arendelle castle type thing um, in the trailer for the game. Somehow we ended up with this, but I think it looks beautiful up here. All right, you guys, we got the valley all cleaned up, so I think I'm going to call it a night. And I have really enjoyed spending time with you guys, and I want to thank all of you who came out and hung out with me tonight. It has been a really good time. I appreciate you all so, so much, and I'm so, so happy to be at a thousand subscribers. It really means a lot to me. Like, I really did not think that this was going to be a thing, um, and I'm really surprised and grateful that I can be creative well, and <laughs> do this more, and hopefully it'll, it'll be the side job that I need to survive. <laughs> You too, Rhonda. Yes, I am sleepy. So I'm going to call it a night. Thank you guys, and I will see you all again very soon. <laughs> Bye, Ras Rascal Gamer. Bye, Jacob. Have a good night, everybody.